Yay, episode seven. Okay. Sephiroth. <laughs> Sephiroth. <laughs> um, so I was wrong about Shotgun. That was a completely different character. It just... I forgot what they look like. Um, this is the one with the shurikens. Because they're only defined by their weapons and absolutely nothing else. <laughs> so what's Rude defined by? <laughs> He's Rude. In Reno? He's from Reno. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's from Reno. <laughs> well, then Song. Oh. Well, I don't know. What does that translate to? I don't... <laughs> I don't even know what language it is, right? Is it Japanese or Chinese? Korean? <laughs> I don't know. Put it in Google Translate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, those aren't weapons. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Reno is a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> Turtle. I thought it was a monkey falling down. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I know how to guard. I don't do it Make very sure often, but I know how. Ow. Okay, so if it won't let me splice it together, basically it just cut randomly because whatever, our internet sucks. Um, Genesis was spouting more nonsense about how great a book Loveless is. He's sitting there <laughs> quoting it, and everybody else is pretending not to be annoyed. <laughs> this is a flashback by Sephiroth, I guess. Yeah. Sharing his memories with his good friend, Zack. <laughs> <laughs> forgot his name or something. <laughs> Zack. This is my friend. Zack. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You <laughs> start at the other end of the alphabet. This is my good friend, Adam Zach. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Zach Sephiroth. Beatrice. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Closer. <laughs> yeah, it, it, normally sometimes it says that the broadcast is poor or whatever, and we probably lose quality during the video. But we but, just ignore it and keep going. Yeah, it, it's still holding. Cut. Yeah, this is the first time we really cut us off. Hopefully we won't do that again. It'd be great to not have another... Uh, I almost want to hold it for another 17 seconds. <laughs> just to see if it clocks out again at the same time. Because that's... I mean, otherwise we're just going to be sitting here for 7 seconds and then it's going to cut again and it's not going to matter. <laughs> and... Go. <laughs> How can I not, when you've beaten it into my head? <laughs> Time to die, I hate it. <laughs> Don't take Sephiroth lightly. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Yes, I too go from talking about books to sword fighting. Without any, uh, segue. <laughs> so I was reading H.P. Lovecraft the other day, you know? <laughs> At, uh, or last night, uh, The Doom That Came to Sarnath. It's a, one of the more popular ones, you know, just for whatever reason. They made a movie for Batman, The Doom That Came to Gotham, and I'm looking at the synopsis of both of them, and they have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> I don't know why they named it other than the popular title of, Hey, H.P. Lovecraft thing, look, it looks H.P. Lovecrafty. I think he fights Lovecraft-esque monsters, but otherwise, story-wise, it's not a Lovecraft story. <laughs> The world needs a new hero. Are they actually trying to kill each other, or...? <laughs> no, I think they're just training, messing around. Because you can actually get hurt and stuff. But for sure. <laughs> the ground dented. <laughs> I'm in a hole. Sephiroth can just explode on command. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Spontaneous combustion! Also, we're flying now. You can't. <laughs> I 
What an interesting move. It's like summoning a bunch of meteors from the sky. <laughs> I'll have to make note of that. <laughs> um, ow. I mean, at what point are you not just immortal? Like, when it really does take an entire planet hitting you in the face to knock you down and still not kill you? <laughs> at what point are you not immortal? <laughs> Were you supposed to destroy this thing? I mean, it's a training room, so it doesn't matter, I guess, but... Oh, this is all in the VR thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever. It starts playing his theme song on the speakers in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, you, you can feel damage to you. Let's open the room, I guess, so... <laughs> Just a scrape. Tis a flesh wound. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Even if tomorrow is barren of promises, nothing shall forestall my return. So Sephiroth can just make his sword really long, or just sword beams or whatever that can cut through anything? Yeah. So, was everything alright? Yes. As far as Genesis was concerned. But... As for Angeo... Angeo? What happened? Later, I received one of his famous lectures. About what? Pig smiting. Always the same. <laughs> Discipline, dreams, honor, etc. <laughs> One of those, huh? It's all like, you need better morals, blah, blah, blah. You can't go around killing everyone you meet, blah, blah, blah. You can't be a supervillain hell-bent on destroying the planet, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Says who? <laughs> so I stabbed him. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm trapped in a turtle. <laughs> Increased relations with Angeo, even though he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Just angels off somewhere. You know what? I did like that Zack guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Chocobo summon. Uh, Tutorials. Useful tips. They're not that useful. Shoppe. Ooh, a cape. Yeah, headband. Hmm. I feel like... Prevent silence and prevent that stun. might be useful. But... Well, I have plenty of money for it. Why would I need more than one? I... <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> um... Can I equip it without... Ugh, I lose 94 HP. Yeah, the bagel is increasing your health. The bagel, yeah. What's vitality do? I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like it's important. Is that just how well you can recover health? Maybe? Or is that my health bonus? I'm going to switch that. So that I can still use magic when those stupid... Whoa. Speaker things blast me with smoke. <laughs> it has a glitchy Why? load there. Uh oh, bye. He's behind you? <laughs> Ow.
Oh, is that? Oh, I got rid of my fire thing. It's weak to fire. What up, Seth? Seth, what's wrong? Hollander's laboratory is right down this way. My best friend. It's a facility. We may find leads on it. Hey, what's up, Seth? What's wrong? Let's go. There's a box behind you, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. There's a ladder. Okay. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Gonna fall and not be. Able oh. He gave up. <laughs> <laughs> that sure is a long way down. It's three feet. That's a long way down. Activating combat mode. Bird. Uh, it's weak to ice, but I can't reach it from here because I use my. Yeah. Wait. It uses ice. Eh, whatever. That did something, so... <coughs> oh, there's more! I'm gonna run out of magic so fast. <laughs> um... Looks like you do recover some the more you wait around. Yeah, but I'm immediately gonna go into another fight. I thought Sephiroth was supposed to follow me. I thought I was dodging that. No, you gotta guard it. Man, how do I activate that? Whatever those random memory things are up there. They'll show up, and I think I've activated two of them. But I've gotten way more than that. I thought they just happened at certain times. Oh, you killed the other guy too. Cool. <laughs> All right. What? The Sephiroth couldn't have just walked his way over here the other way? In character in this one. I'm not entirely sure what that did. Uh, I actually could have allowed you to get back to the safe point and come back over here. Without, without having to go through everything again. Oh well. Oh, this is where you fight the scorpion boss. Hey, look, there's Sephiroth. <laughs> nope. Activating combat mode. What? Hey, Seph. Oh. <laughs> he just disappears. Uh, I I'm sure you're just busy with something more important. You know, it's. You trust that I got this. That's okay. <laughs> That's not what I did, but okay. <laughs> Keep hitting the wrong buttons. I'm playing like <laughs> several games, uh, I, I'm a couple different games at the same time, and I'm crossing the controls. Hey, Sephiroth, it sure is convenient that you showed up back at the same time when just, just after the battle finished. <laughs> the source is your mom. Can you just slice it open? <laughs> Open the valve on the lowest level. That should open the door. You can fly and have super speed. It, you can also just break the door. <laughs> the time it takes to get down there, <laughs> you could have done 30 different things to do to open this door. Zach. Oh, you're not gonna yell at me for standing around. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> I want you to yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. There's another ladder you gotta take somewhere. Go over there. Um, no, I have to go back up and then go back the other ladder that mm -hmm. I tried to go down before. Oh, there's the, the other ladder right there? Yeah. No, you missed it. What? That one? Yeah. <coughs> Treasure something. Uh. <laughs> 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 
You got it. <laughs> cool. Activating combat mode. Yay. Yay. Just slide down. Activating combat mode. Ugh. I keep hitting circle to die. <laughs> no, it's X. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Treasure. Zerves. <laughs> <laughs> Shinra Alpha. Okay. <laughs> he just looks at the light like, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, I can. I can. If you just leave me alone for a second. I don't have to fight you. <laughs> Activating combat mode. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing this I, right I now. I don't want to. I'm so sick of wasting my time on fight. It's it's the one element of RPGs that I really, really hate. Leave me alone. I can see you charging for an attack. Good work. Uh, <laughs> That's the highest praise anyone's ever given me. <laughs> secret facility. It's not so secret. There's a safe spot down here. Now we're wretched. Here's the water heater. <laughs> <laughs> this is why all my showers are cold. <laughs> um, that's an important thing. You gotta review like several documents. The heightened abilities of soldier members are maintained by a delicate balance of various genetic factors. The change in this balance could only be caused by a leak of genetic information, but this is not possible under normal circumstances. This phenomenon is unique to the soldier type G. I'm getting woozy. It was shortly before Genesis left. Flashback! The was superficial. <laughs> For some reason, Genesis wasn't here. <laughs> the man who treated him was Hollander. Professor Hollander, how is Genesis? The problem is the Mako energy that seeped in through the world. He 
He looks like the principal in Final Fantasy VIII. Also, he's super short. <laughs> you aren't viable. <laughs> and then I <I'll laughs> <just> disappeared. <laughs> He's got something like, like Genova blood or whatever in him, right? Whatever it is. Sephiroth, yeah. It is now an undisputed fact that the life form ex excavated from the Earth is indeed of the ancient race spoken, in, uh, spoken of in legend. Furthermore, history records that these ancients channeled the power of this planet to tear the Earth asunder. Using the cells of the unearthed ancient, we have begun research on creating and mass-producing a race with comparable abilities. The primary objective of this research is to significantly reduce Mako excavation costs. I don't see how those two have anything to do with each other, <laughs> but sure. Also, that's one of those people that they just created. I want to check this thing! <laughs> Alarm! Is this where they make the copies? Check it again. <laughs> Check it again! Anything else I can look at? Nope. Oh, oh on yes. the bed. Objective. Implant the cells of an ancient into a human fetus to imbue said fetus with the ancient's abilities. I.e. create Sephiroth. <laughs> That's me. Sephiroth! The result was a normal child. Which meant he failed. However. However. <laughs> he wants you to talk to him first, so probably save before or not. <laughs> no, nah, man. We good. Four. Four. <laughs> Project G. That's my favorite wall. It has my favorite number on it. <laughs> Project G. Project Genesis. Contrary to this report, Genesis showed clear signs of change. Degrading? <laughs> only that. Copies? Abominations. S Sephiroth. Hollander, I thought I'd find you here. We're here to kill you. You want to do something to me, eh? Yes, kill you. <laughs> Who will stop Genesis and Angeal's degradation? Oh, principal in Final Fantasy VIII. I thought that was, uh... Oh, who am I thinking of? The headmaster? Principal? The teacher? Somebody. One of the guys. Well, I know one of the teachers had a whip or something like that, unless he was the principal, too. Genesis. I don't know. I'm, I'm... I forget her name. It's been so long since I played Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> no, the guy. <laughs> he oh, looks I... like the guy. I know he just got covered up by a wing, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember uh, a guy principal, I only remember the teacher. <laughs> you won't take Hollander, and then Genesis just lets him go. <laughs> there is no hate, only joy, for you are beloved by the goddess. Hero of the dawn, healer of worlds. Loveless again. You never change. Three friends go into battle. <laughs> one is captured. One flies away. The one that is left becomes a hero. A common story. If we were to enact it, would I be the one to play the hero? Or would you? It's all yours. Indeed. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the hero. I want to be the villain. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> How petty. In hindsight, perhaps. If you really want to be the hero so much, you probably are not the hero. <laughs> I'll be the hero, even if it means killing everyone else. <laughs> I heard something earlier. Someone shared a post on Twitter or whatever, but like... It, it just never makes sense to me how people who think they're in the right 
you won't get away. threaten to hurt other people, or actually do hurt other people, and still think that's the right thing to do. Like, sometimes you're probably put in a position where you have to fend for yourself, sure, but like, if you're doing it as a means to an end to make your point or whatever, your point's lost. Yeah. <laughs> The only way to be the hero is to kill everyone else! Well, you're doing it wrong. Don't. Don't. Stop it. Alright, I'm like, that. Uh, <laughs> Corner! <laughs> <laughs> but, like, there's plenty of controversies I can get into, but it's like... Yeah. The obvious villain move is obvious, and for some reason you still think you're the good guy. Yeah. We were I, watching, I, I hate that mindset. It's like, it doesn't make any sense to me. We were watching Sanctuary last night, and um, <laughs> Jerk guy took over, and he's giving the rest of the people commands, and they're just doing it. And we're like, you know this is the bad guy move, right? <laughs> I mean, cut off all communication with the person I just told you I fired. Well, that makes it sound like they're the good guy, and you don't want us asking questions. So, uh, that's a bad guy move. <laughs> we don't actually have to follow bad orders. <laughs> it, it's delusional or misguided or whatever. It's just stupid. Yeah. I'm going to call the episode there, and hopefully I can... If I can't, it's a minute and a half. That doesn't really matter. I don't think anything important happened. So All we did was introduce that cutscene we started this episode off with, so... yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe episode 8 will do stuff.